light, bright, airy, tons of windows, and coming in only 3,800 pounds dry. Folks, this bad boy right here is the 2022 Coleman Rubicon 1608 RB. That's right, the 1608, folks, is under 21 foot and only 3,800 pounds dry. With a 1,000 pound cargo carrying capacity, that means even if you built this thing to the hilt, or you loaded it up completely, you're still under that 5,000 pound mark. So if you do have a large SUV, this is definitely one to consider. It also has a ton of great boondocking features that we'll go over uh, mainly as we get outside, but there's a lot of great features right here on the inside too. I always like to start off on the kitchen, and for good reason. I mean, look at this kitchen. It's gorgeous. You have a ton of prep space. Again, for being a shorter travel trailer, the fact that they give you all that prep space, plus this big, gorgeous undermount, kind of uh, black stainless steel sink, I think is absolutely killer. You do have the uh, thermal-formed countertop, which allows for that undermount sink. High-rise faucet, two-burner recessed cooktop with a glass cover on the other side, so you can use that as prep space as well. Large window in the back lets in a ton of natural light. You will also have an additional light right over there, as well as an electric outlet, so if you need a place for your coffee maker, that's where it'll go. Storage all the way across the top. Now, a couple things I really like here. I love how light the wood is. They didn't go full white like a lot of manufacturers did. Uh, it's just a very light colored wood and I personally really dig it. And then they kind of uh, accent that with some darker pulls. I also love the designer glass and the fact they backlit it. I really think it makes this space pop. As we drop down underneath the countertop, you see the microwave there and then plenty of storage underneath the sink as well as a bank of four drawers. Now, I always say you have to have at least one drawer to make a kitchen usable, two to make it functional. Having four is perfect. That way you not only have a place for your flatware and some of your larger utensils, but also things like um, hot pads and extra towels. You need a spot for them, boom, you have them here in the Rubicon. Then rounding out the kitchen right behind me is the 12 volt GE refrigerator. I'll open that one up so you can see there, there is obviously plenty of space. Uh, being 10 cubic foot, it's a lot bigger than what we've had in the past when you're looking at off-road style RVs. The thing I really like about this too is the fact this one again does come with a solar panel and an inverter. We'll hit that a little bit when we get outside, but that will certainly help uh, the longevity of that refrigerator. Your control panel as well as your multimedia center will be on this panel right here as soon as you walk in. You will see a couple things. One thing I do want to point out is the fact the water heater does run off both gas and electric. You can turn both of those on at the same time for faster recovery. And as I mentioned, that multimedia center is right up above that. In the rear corner is the bathroom. Um, you know, I'll step inside here just to kind of show you space. As I take a seat, you will notice I have plenty of room for my legs, great space for my shoulders here as well. Um, just to give you a frame of reference, I'm right around six foot tall, currently sitting about 210 or so. As I stand in the shower, again, with that skylight, folks, I have enough room, could probably be 6'1", maybe even 6'2", and not have to duck down, which is wonderful. You have the mirrored medicine cabinet right below that, the sink, and of course, some additional storage down there. And as we make our way back out, a couple of things I do want to point out here. One will be your thermostat. That will be for the furnace. You do have uh, a couple ducts uh, throughout the camper. Even though they don't necessarily need multi, they could have just done a straight directional. I do like they put a couple in there, again, just to kind of give you a little bit more even heating. And then for cooling, you have the direct vent AC right here. Of course, the controls for that are on the AC itself. Now, this one does have a slide out, which again, for the weight is super impressive. It is a shallow slide. You know, it's not gonna be the, the full deep slide, but the thing I like about that is when the slide is in, which I'll show you before we head outside, you have plenty of walk room, plenty of space so that if you need to, you know, pull over on the side of the road and take a nap or obviously get to the refrigerator, get to the bathroom, you can easily do that uh, in the 1608. This jackknife sofa does lay down into a bed as far as size. I don't have a tape measure on me, but I'll give you kind of a, a Ian size, right? That's the unit of measurement today is one Ian. Um, you can see if I have a pillow, my feet hang off a little bit, but honestly, as an adult, I can make this work. This is it gonna be the most comfortable night's sleep? Of course not, it's a jackknife sofa, but if you have a guest and you need a spot for them uh, to sleep in a pinch, this is big enough where they're not gonna to have to curl up into a ball. 
And then as we take a look up front, this of course is the queen size bed. You have a headboard there. It gives you the pop-up power tower. So you have uh, electrical outlet as well as some USB ports. Pull that up for you so you can take a look. And as I mentioned, just a ton of windows. I mean, we have one in the kitchen, we have one in the slide, we have one on each side of the bed, plus one up front, that big gorgeous windshield just really lights this up during the day. You see the additional shelf right up top, and then if you want a spot for a TV, that is where your TV will be mounted. So here it is folks, with the slide closed, you can see you still have a ton of walk room. So that way if you wanna get up to the bed, even if you wanna drop down the jackknife sofa, how great is that? There's still plenty of room. And then, of course, you have easy access to the refrigerator and the bathroom. On the outside of the 1608RB, there is a ton of great features, but I'd like to start right here up front. One of the things you'll notice right away is the power tongue jack. This makes it super easy and convenient to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. And because it already comes installed from the manufacturer, it'll save you some money on the aftermarket side. Right behind that, you have two 20-pound propane tanks with a cover and rails there for your battery. Now, this one does come with solar already equipped, not just solar prep, but you have a 190-watt solar panel on the roof. That, of course, will trickle charge your battery, make sure that it's not going to deplete to a point that it is no longer usable. And this one comes with an inverter as well, so some of your outlets inside will be inverted. You have the beautiful three-quarter front cap on here with LED lights, plus that gorgeous windshield that we saw when we were inside. Absolutely love that. One of the industry-leading warranties on here, you have a three-year structural warranty. So if you're looking to get into an RV, you want to make sure uh, that you have that warranty behind you. You know you can rest easy with this Coleman. You also see right underneath is diamond plating, which helps protect that front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Now, as I mentioned, it does have a 190 watt solar panel up top, but if you do want additional, you can see right there, it does come with the prep. So if you just have like a briefcase style uh, portable panel, you can plug it right in there. And then inside, as I mentioned, right there is the solar controller. And then a little bit further in, right, that big gray box you see is the 1200 watt inverter. You'll also see this one has a battery disconnect in the pass through. So that way you can turn that and kill all power to the RV so you don't have like a slow drain on the battery. Because as we all know, if that's the case, then you know you go to get into it in the spring and you have a dead battery. That's never any fun. So you can just flip that uh, battery disconnect there. As far as construction, you can see it is all laminated on the exterior, which is great. Looks beautiful. I personally really love the graphics that they have on here. I think they did an excellent job. You will also see the rail system here. Now, in the far end of the pass-through, this one does have a couple boxes. And what those boxes are is it will be a um, bracket that attaches to this rail. And then you will have a cooktop. So that way, you can cook right outside here, which is wonderful. And as you would expect, underneath is that propane quick connect. So you can just hook up to that. That way, your cooktop will use the two 20-pound bottles up front instead of you know, having to buy separate ones. Now, if you don't necessarily want that one, let's say you have like a Blackstone griddle or something you absolutely love, of course, you can set that here and still use that same propane quick connect. If you want outside TV, this will be your hookups, electrical outlet there, as well as your cable outlet. Then you can see, as I mentioned, this one is built to kind of go off-road. It's rugged, right? You have the 15-inch tires on there, a much more aggressive lug. You can see how much ground clearance you have underneath here, too. That's going to be a big one. You know, you plan on uh, going to some roads that aren't necessarily flat. You have to have the ground clearance. You have it here. You'll also see the steel wheel well. So in the event there is a blowout, because again, you're going to be going on a little bit rougher roads, it's not going to destroy the inside of the RV. It will help protect that, um, again, in the event of a blowout. Making our way back a little bit further, you have the LCI solid steps, which just as the name implies, makes it super easy to get in and out of the RV. Large foldable grab handle. This, of course, gives you that extra control again. Uh, and just makes it a little bit easier, especially if you have bad knees. Right up top is the power awning with an LED light, as well as a couple speakers. Those are controlled by that multimedia center we saw inside. Now, as we swing around to the back, 
You will notice the rear mounted ladder. This makes it nice and easy to climb up onto the fully walkable roof. So that you need to get up there for basic inspection or maintenance. This allows you to do it. Now, folks, bear in mind, if you don't want to get up on the roof, I completely understand. It can be a pretty dangerous place to be, especially if it's wet or windy. You can always bring it into any Camping World location throughout the United States. Someone will get up on the roof and inspect it for you for free. You will also see backup camera prep. It's not a huge RV, but sometimes just knowing what's behind you is great. Having that, uh, that prep does make it nice and easy to have a backup camera installed. As we come around to the off camp side, a couple features I want to point out here. You will see your termination with both your black and gray tank valves right there. Moving up a little bit is the black tank flush so you can quickly and easily wash out your black tank. Gone are the days of having to stick a hose down the toilet. Cable inlet here as well as your 30 amp detachable power supply. And then lastly, as we make our way up to the very front, we will see both of the uh, fresh water connections there as well as the city water inlet. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2022 Coleman Rubicon 1608 RB. If you're looking for a lightweight RV that's built well, can do some off-road, is really bright, airy, and open despite being under 21 foot and only 3,800 pounds dry, then this is certainly one you want to put on the short list. If you are interested in this RV and you'd like to take a look, simply stop at your local camping world. Thanks for watching, folks. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.